Hey guys, Woody here with Express Screen with another My Screen video. So for today, we're going to be talking about these cardboard frames we have for the My Screen. Uh, they're an inexpensive way to screen print, and they're a great way to uh, use the My Screen in the classroom. You're not risking uh, using a more expensive frame that uh, one of the kids might break. Uh, also, it'd be great for you know, if you want to resell these, these are inexpensive, so they're quick and easy to get. And uh, once you print on them, you could sell them to one of your friends who's having a ch children's birthday party or something like that. All the kids can print on their own screens. And so these come in packs of five, and it comes with five of the large frames as well as five of the small frames. So it's a really good deal. It's uh, a lot of frames for a pretty inexpensive price. And then, uh, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, I got my images on here. And the really great thing about this MyScreen software is, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is a smaller image area, which is meant for the smaller frames. And the MyScreen makes that really easy to adjust. You just have to click a button and it'll adjust to the smaller frames. There's the larger one. And let's get started. So all I have to do, send the image over to the MyScreen. This is gonna be on our larger frame set the larger frame in. There's a little triangle on top here. Line that up with the triangle in there. And then once you've got it all set in place, just hold the top down for 30 seconds and that's gonna expose your screen. After this, we're gonna be ready to go, ready to start printing with the My Screen. And uh, the way this is working is there's a thermal print head in the top of it. And so that thermal print head is just rolling across a pet coating on our mesh, which is heat sensitive, and it's just burning away that pet coating where you want your image to go. So it makes uh, screen printing really easy. Uh, it makes exposing screens super fast and really simple. Uh, like I said, just get your mesh on the frame. Once you're done with that, send it through 30 seconds, you're ready to start printing. I'm gonna go ahead and expose my smaller frame as well here. Uh, like I said before, my screen has preset settings in there for the small and the large frame. So I just have to click on my other image or my other um, size frame, send the image over. And this one's not going to take 30 seconds. Uh, smaller frame, so it's going to be a little bit quicker to expose here. And uh, the small frames are great because if you're uh, wanting to save a little money on your prints and everything, you've got a small design you don't have to use a full thing of mesh for that you can uh, use one of our GP 100 rolls and just pull out however much you need and so that makes it really easy to get a uh, to get a small design on a smaller frame without using as much mesh and now we are ready to start printing I got some shirts over here and we're gonna be using the print board for the large image but for the smaller one I wanna show y'all how you, you don't necessarily need this print board in order to get good prints with the my screen. It's, it's pretty easy to do, make do without it. So I'm just gonna lay this down, make sure it's centered around these uh, pegs that are underneath it on the my screen print board. Lay this down. We're on our little holes we got there and now we're ready to print getting my ink on here we're using plastisol ink uh, the my screen can also use water-based and uh, core plastic you can use a lot of different kinds of inks so it's a pretty versatile system now that we're ready to get printing Lift the screen up. And there we go. Got a good first print with the My Screen. Show it to you here. Looks good. Still got to dry that off real quick, but overall, uh, a solid first print there. Let's go ahead and move on to the smaller frame. And I'm not going to be using my print board for this one. Uh, this is actually something we've heard of some teachers doing. Uh, they'll actually send their kids home with these smaller frames and then the kids will actually expose the screens in class and take the screens home with them in order to uh, put them on the frame and expose and uh, you know give them a little homework to do at home. 
So uh, that's a, it's a great resource for classes. These uh, cardboard frames, they make things really easy. Now we're just going to do a smaller one. Uh, let's see here. It's, it's a little too big to do a left chest pocket, so we'll just uh, keep it in the middle of the t-shirt here. And so, like I said, I'm not even using a uh, print board here. I'm just lining up my image where I know I want it to go. Once I've got that done, I'm ready to print. Just like that, we got another quick and easy my screen print. So as you can see, the cardboard frames, they're great for a lot of different things. You can do larger images with the large screens, smaller images with the small screens, and all around they're a, a great resource, especially in the classroom. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely come back and visit us for another one tomorrow. Y'all have a good one.